The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. The fact that God is love does not mean that he tolerates sin. Now hold that closely to your chest. If you want this church to grow and to spread, those of us who are pastors and leaders, Punish sin when you see it. Yeah, punish it. When you see that this is a sin, punish it. Don't say that it is a person's own business. For in the body of Christ, the hand cannot say that it is my own business. I've never seen any hand admitted in the hospital, leaving the head and the legs at home. Every one of us is part of the body. And as long as we encourage sin, we check out the Holy Spirit. Now, the Father God is love does not mean that he tolerates evil. The forgiveness of our sins actually cost God his only begotten son. There is no one on earth who will be forgiven of sins or be remitted of his sins without acknowledging Jesus as Lord. That is how expensive forgiveness is. That is how expensive forgiveness is. 1 John chapter 2 verse 2 says this. 1 John 2 2. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Now you can imagine John speaking to Christians. He writes to those who are born again. And so he says that he, Jesus, is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. What does this mean in practice? Romans chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. Romans 3, 23, 24. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This is a very popular test. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now 24. For all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Now whilst verse 23 is saying that all have sinned, verse 24 is saying that all are justified freely. So, how can all sin and all be justified freely? So, there is a missing link. There's a gap that needs to be filled. So, the following verses try to supply the missing link. Now, so let's pay attention to 25. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his, that is God's righteousness, because in his forbearance, he has left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. Verse 26. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time, so that as to be just, and the one who justified those who have faith in Jesus. Now, this is a very important scripture. I want to dwell on it for a moment. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But all have been justified through the redemption that came through Jesus Christ. What does that mean? Now verse 25 is trying to supply the gap. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood. So 
God presented Christ. So he will shed his blood and that will atone for mankind. So that man will then receive that atonement by faith. Then he says that God did this to demonstrate his righteousness. Because in his forbearance, when we are talking about forbearance, we are saying that abstaining from the enforcement of a right. You see, the soul that sinner should die. Evil needs to be punished. But God's forbearance. Now God is trying to abstain from enforcement of the law. What should happen to the sinner? Now in trying to forbear, he makes some demonstration. And then he says that he demonstrated this so to appease his own righteousness. He did it for his own righteousness. Now what does that mean? And the Bible says that God presented Christ. God brought before the whole world or God introduced Christ to the whole world. That is what it means to present. Introduce him to the whole world. Introduce him publicly to all human beings. God did that introduction. And the Bible says that that one is for God's own righteousness. So that he will be found as just. Now let me say this. See, God is a just God. And he wants the whole world to know that he's a just God. Why did he need to prove to the world that he's just? Why the demonstration? By bringing his son unto the whole world for us to receive him by faith. God has attributes. Whilst the love of God wants the sinner to come to him, the holiness of God cannot just take that. Now, listen to this very well. While the faithfulness of God is demanding that the sinner be punished for his sins, the mercy of God is calling for pardon. Now, so look at that. So in his forbearance, in his wisdom, he decided to do something. To present Christ to mankind so that the man will receive Christ by faith through the shedding of his blood. So that once you accept Jesus by faith, by what God has presented, his blood then cleanses you. Then holiness and faithfulness will not have any issue with you. But apart from that, the holiness of God will resist the sinner. Even though the love of God wants to pull the sinner. So in his forbearance, God then gives out Christ to be received by faith. So if you don't receive him and his holiness check you out, you can't blame him. So the Bible says that he did that for his own righteousness sake. So that you'll be seen as just. You'll be seen as just. Now, Romans 3. Let's go to 21. And come back to 22. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known, to which the law and the prophet testify. Now, God is going to set aside the law and introduce a new righteousness. 22. This is very important. Shall we read together if you can? This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile. This new righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to how many people? Who believe. 